हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर समीर प्रधान फ्रॉम मुंबई एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द बेसिक स्टेप्स ऑफ वजनल हिस्टेक्टोमी आफ्टर ओपनिंग ऑफ द पाउचेस द वीडियो स्टार्ट्स फ्रॉम टेकिंग ऑफ द लेफ्ट यूट्रोसाइकल लिगामेंट विद द मेंगोट्स क्लैम द पेडिकल इज क्लैम कट एंड ट्रांसफिक्स द पेडिकल इज कार्ड फ्रॉम द सर्विक्स we always do a hinis type of transfixation with number 1 vicryl 2347 the first knot is a surgeon's knot the knot is squared and it is tightened with the index finger with a control traction to prevent breaking of the knot we always go around so as to take few oozers from the few branches of descending cervical vessel this pedicle is always kept long it can be attached to the vaginal vault at the same time or we can use it for a mccall stitch later similarly the left the right sorry the right uterosacral pedicle is clamped cut and transfixed on the right side one can go from below upwards so that the pedicle faces you while tightening again the knot is squared and then we take three more throws and we go around to take the few vascular supply from the descending cervical even the right uterosacral pedicle is kept long next we take the cardinal ligaments which may contain the descending cervical vessel here we are carving the pedicle from the uterus and we are doing the hinis type of transfixation since this pedicle contains a, a vessel after the transfixation we are going to take a free tie with 20 vicryl this is a similar step being done on the right hand side the cardinals with the part of the uterine and descending cervical vessels and while transfixing one has to see where the vessels are and one has to avoid piercing the vessel while going again some people prefer only one uh, single stitch for transfixation now with a 20 vicryl we are going around as a free tie and the free tie is medial or lateral to the transfixed suture one can see the main uterine pedicle on the medial wall of the uterus here we have taken the right uterine at the same time it has including some part of the right round ligament so the ascending branch of the uterine also has come in this pedicle and we have transfixed it since it is a vascular pedicle after transfixation we will take a free tie here we have taken the left uterine pedicle with the left ascending branch one has to go up to the tip of the clamp there was a retrograde bleeding from the ascending branch so we put a hemostat there we tackle the pedicle first by hinis type of transfixation we took a free tie and then the retrograde bleeding was cauterized one can also apply bly clamp over here if one has it available then we are taking the uh, right conval pedicle since we wanted to do opportunistic salpingectomy we have taken the round ligament separately over here and then we can readjust the clamp or put a shades clamp and include the fallopian tube so we prefer to do this opportunistic salpingectomy in almost all our cases of vaginal hysterectomy for this pedicle one has to go one can just take a free ligature initially to demarcate our boundaries and then one can take another ligature or just transfix with a single transfixation we prefer a 20 vicryl for the fallopian tubes
note that the other part of the uterus has been pushed inside so as to create more space we are just achieving hemostasis and since the bowel was coming in the way we are putting a roller pack to retract the bowel here we have held the left fallopian tube and the fimbria and our shed clamp is going beyond it is taking the complete part of the tube we are can if one has to remove the ovaries one can advance this clamp up to the infundibular pelvic ligament also while cutting we are now cutting flush with the fallopian tube so as to preserve the arcade which is going to supply collateral circulation to the left ovary the fimbria has to be always removed here while transfixation one can take the lower stitch first because it is nearer and then go around always first surgeon's knot and then three more throws and since this is also a vascular pedicle having uh, branches from the ovary and artery we are going to take a free tie and then we check the hemostasis we always believe in peritonalization at the same time we do high ligation of the posterior pouch it is like a moskovitz done from below and it prevents a, a recurrence uh, in the form of a entrosy we believe in taking this extra external macaul suture wherein we go from the vaginal wall the left uterosacral the peritoneum the right uterosacral and the right angle of the vaginal wall this external macaul stitch is taken with number 1 vicryl as it comes out to the vagina and it will be tied at the end of our surgery so here we are going through the final uh, angle the sim speculum has to retract the rectum properly now both the uterosacral pedicles which were kept long are tied to each other so they are give a effective uh, shortening of the uterosacral and then this same uterosacral we will subsequently attach to the vault if any anterior repair has to be done it has to be done before this step we are going to the center of the vault going deep first and then the superficial edges here the a repair part we have skipped and uh, we are now taking the anterior vaginal wall and the second uterosacral pedicle also we will do in a similar manner go deep and then superficial to superficial this uterosacral pedicles also will be tied after the vault is been sutured this will give the effect of a internal macaul stitch now we are closing the vault we start from one angle the angles have to be secured with a figure of 8 or a omega stitch because the bleedings can occur from the angle we prefer to bury the knot and then we take a continuous interlocking type of sutures nowadays we have started taking the posterior peritoneum to the posterior vaginal wall separately which helps in to cover the raw area when one has opened the pee pouch layered in a layered manner this prevents a vault hematoma or reactionary hemorrhage the vault can also be sutured in a continuous manner or a figure of eight sutures or some people prefer to leave the vault open in the midline which acts as a natural drainage now the uterosacral pedicles are tightened and the vault suture is again tied to the uterosacral pedicle so we have effectively taken the vault above the level of ischial spines and last is we tighten the macaul's external macaul stitch and strengthen the central compartment so as to prevent a vault prolapse in the future thank you very much for watching